Okay, I want to talk about something really quickly. And I'm eating, so you're going to hear me chewing too. But how some things are, non, un, are unacceptable. And me personally, I am on a journey um, to basically my highest potential. That's why I have the name of that channel. Basically to my true self and not the false, the false person. That's the ego, because most this, this has been an ego-driven world and the ego was there really to protect you because, I mean, you're the only person going around in your highest truth. You're not gonna fit in an ego-driven world because everybody's gonna be, everybody's gonna be basically how the ego operates. But this is a particular time where it's not an option to stay in an ego type of existence. It's time, it's like, it's time to transcend it. To pretty much do the best you can because I'm not trying to be scary and say, well, you better, you know, you something's coming and you like, you know, just do whatever you can. And, 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 you know, because if you get into fear about whatever might be coming and then you get in your ego even more. <laughs> but anyway, with that being said, with me on this path of getting closer and closer to my true self it's just certain things I don't want to tolerate and I'm not going to feel bad about somebody else's behavior about somebody else who don't want to do what they're supposed to do and want to kind of make you feel bad because they have a bad attitude <laughs> so like an example is and this is common because I work in healthcare so this is so freaking common and uh, like say I'm a therapist and I asked the nurse to put in an order for a new admit, okay, for a new admit. You know, when they have these new admissions, the nurse has to put in the therapy orders. And most of the time, the therapy orders are in. Um, but the nurse has to put in the therapy order. So I, this particular time, I didn't see any therapy orders. And so I went and asked the nurse, because she put in therapy orders. I didn't know who I was supposed to go to. Who in particular I was supposed to go to, I don't know. I just asked, but that nurse should have just been like, okay, well, I'll go tell so-and-so. I mean, when people come to me as a therapist, they don't know who I have on my list as patients to treat. They just come to me, and I relate it to the correct person that need, to, that, that need to talk to that patient because they don't know what my schedule is. They have no idea. So, you know, so what I'm saying is, if that wasn't the nurse that was supposed to do it, most likely she knows who the correct person is to speak to. And, uh, you know, um, I just asked, could I, uh, could you, uh, could you get the orders in so I can do their evaluations and put them on therapy? And, because I have to have an order first. I have to have a therapy order first. And she said, okay. She said, well, she has to look at the admission papers and then put it in. Now, I could have looked at the thing wrong, but I don't see where any orders have been put in. I've looked at those, both of these people several times to see if I'm looking at, if I'm not looking correctly, to see if I'm looking correctly. And I just don't see where any orders have been put in. I passed by the lady several times. I have looked and I passed by the lady several times. And it's almost like she is almost kind of She's not having an attitude with me, but she's kind of, her, her, her um, demeanor is more cold. Almost like she didn't feel like, she don't feel like doing it, and she didn't do it. And so every time she would see me, she has this demeanor that's kind of nasty. N not getting an attitude with me, it's just a, it's just a, some type of body language and the way her face looks, you know what I mean? And I'm like, uh -uh. And the fact that she has this demeanor, it's almost like she has no intentions on putting the order in. I mean, because if you're busy and you just got to get to it later on because you're busy, that's, that's, you can't help that. But the, her demeanor is almost like she has no intentions on putting this order. The reason why that's acceptable is because it's not just about me. But even if it was about me, I just don't want to tolerate these kind of personalities this more. And that's what I'm talking about. If I'm doing a certain amount of work on myself, here's what I'm saying. I'm unaccepting of certain types of consciousness. I'm just unaccepting of it. Because the type of work on yourself, do on, do on yourself is also what you want in your reality as well. The type of work you do on yourself also is what you want in your reality, what you want to exist in your reality. 
Now, I don't interact with this lady a lot. So she's not in my uh, life or, you know, she's not a friend or anything like that. Because most people just do type of works to get financial abundance or the mate that they want or the car they want, the house they want. But me personally, I don't want, it's just certain things I don't want to exist in my reality period. And that kind of personality, I don't care if I never meet them ever. I don't want that kind of personality anywhere in my reality, even if I don't know them, if I never even speak to them. I don't want them in my reality at all. I don't want that type of consciousness. And that's just one type that I'm giving an example of. I don't want that kind of a consciousness in my reality at all. Period. Because now I have to tell my supervisor I won't be able to do this evaluation because this order is not in. What do I do? I'm able to see the patients, but I can't put in the paperwork until the nurse put in the order. So now what's going to happen? Now you, she's affecting the patient care. Then things are going to be set back for tomorrow. Because maybe she should have felt like whoever, whatever nurse is on duty yesterday and the day before, maybe she felt like they should have did it. That's fine. So I'm going to tell my supervisor that, well, maybe this patient, well, she didn't, I'm not going to put words in nobody's mouth, but that could have been how she felt that whoever was on duty around that time that these people were admitted, they should have been the ones to put it immediately put in those orders. That could be how she seen it, but at the same time, patient care is just going to be affected. Okay, patient care is just going to be affected, and that's just it. Okay. I don't know the processes that they had to go through just to put in the order for, uh, I mean, I read the orders. It just say PT, um, eval and treat as, um, eval, PT, eval and treat. So, I mean, it's not like it's a long, like, five sentences. Um, but, like, PT means physical therapy, OT is occupational therapy. And, um... But I don't know what all she has to go through before she puts in that order. And maybe she has an attitude of whoever was here when that person was admitted should have done it. And she might have an attitude that she don't want to go through all that trouble because somebody else didn't do their job and she got to pick up the slack. And you know what? I get that. That's why I don't really work in these um, settings where I have to pick up somebody else's slack. Because as a therapist, I have to do that all the time. I always have to complete... Um, <clears throat> I always have to complete like progress notes that's due every week because you have other therapists that didn't do it. So when that patient is assigned to me, they have two to three weeks worth of progress notes that wasn't done. So on top of me doing a treatment that may last 45 minutes, I have to do another 30, 30 minutes or so to put in three weeks worth of progress notes because somebody else chose to slack up on it. So I, I totally, if that's the case, I, that's how she feel because I don't understand everything the nurse does i'm not in their job description i'm not in their, i'm not in their business and trying to figure out how they do their job like that right but if that's the case i completely 100 percent get it because i don't like that either and that's why i stay out of these kind of facilities especially skilled nursing facilities not so much hospitals you don't have to do those kind of progress notes every single week but um skilled nursing facilities I, I totally get that and I stay away from them because you do have to pick up the slack for what other people don't do and that makes you the sacrifice. Honestly, that makes you the sacrifice. Because you are in a position where you got to keep picking up the slack where somebody else don't do their fucking job. And then if you turn around and complain and say, listen, I already have really more than eight hours to do to cram into an eight hour day. And this person is this two weeks of stuff that's not done and I have to figure out how I'm going to do this now. See, even if you say something, people are so freaking negative and the people is people in general, I don't care. People in general do not like accountability. It's, it's almost like it hurts their ego to for somebody to point out that they uh, they need to they need to do better. It's almost like the ego is so hurt they never speak to you again. Or, have, or sometimes they just never speak to you again. They pass by you. They don't want to say nothing. Or um, they might try to fuck up your life. That they, could, they might be on that type of stuff. They might be on that type of level where they just want to mess up your life and make your life a living hell because their ego is so hurt. I'm telling you, I want that consciousness terminated. Not the consciousness where that lady might feel like she's tired. She don't want to do nobody else's work. 
I don't know. I can't say whether that's right or wrong. I just know patient care is affected. That I can tell you that much, but I can't say that she right or wrong because she got to think about herself too, if that's the case, that she got to, she too busy to be picking up somebody else's slack who should have had stuff done two days ago, right? Uh, Cause I'm like that way with, I still get progress notes done, but I feel like that too. With, and that's why I just, I don't take those kind of jobs anymore. I don't work full time in these type of buildings any longer because that is a fucking problem. And it's like, you cannot get through that. Why can't people p just pick up their own slack? If there's a reason why you can't do it, then that's fine. You have a justified reason why something can't be done. Then that's why that's when somebody else might come and pick up the slack because something could have happened to you where you justify it where you can't get this done because something might have happened where it's, it, it's hard for you to complete it. But just because you lazy as hell and you don't want to do it or you just, um, you just not paying attention, and so somebody gotta pick, keep, pick, keep picking up your slack, and you can't be told nothing. Yeah, I want that consciousness going too. That's another type of consciousness I want to go. Right? Now, that's all I was gonna say about that, but yeah. It's like, uh, on my journey, I'm not gonna feel bad though, even if that lady, if that's the case with that nurse who don't wanna pick up somebody's slack. I myself, I'm not going to feel any kind of guilt about it because that's still not my problem. That's still not my problem, though. I, even if I get where she's coming from, it still ain't my problem. So whatever attitude that she might have towards me, I brush it, I send it right back to her. I just send it right back to her. Because that's still not my problem. That's, that's your uh, profession. That's people in your profession. Not mine. Okay? Uh... But yeah, now what else was I going to say? Um, I have stayed away from this content for a while. But... I'm seeing, um, I still see where some women still have the same talking points when it pertains to men, brown women, and brown males. Some of these content creators still have the same talking points. They still, and it's almost like, Them focusing, and I, I'm not going to criticize nobody's channel, but them focusing on the um, lower vibrational type of male's content, and I get that's how they create their content, but it brings them in a lower space. It brings them, it brings them in a lower space, and here's what I got to say. For me, this is just me, if I, if I even really care enough, I'd rather... And I can't care enough right now because I have to take care of myself. When I'm at completely at the goal that I need, to, I want to be at, then you, you, there's room to care about other people and to talk to other people. But if I'm not completely at my goal where I'm supposed to be, where I'm supposed to have evolved to, then I can't care about anybody else. There's no room. But like, uh, you know, uh, caring about decisions somebody else is making I can't I can't be worried about that if I'm still working on myself I can't but um some of these ladies are still like looking at some of these channels that are similar to they're not exactly Tommy you know Tommy S Sotomayor they're not exactly you know Kevin Samuels ain't around anymore okay but uh there are other people that I guess that's similar to those type of characters and some of these women I guess because those men, those that type of consciousness in the males won't seem to ever go anywhere, these women continue to talk about the same thing. How the males want to blame the, the black women or whatever for everything, everything that goes wrong. And these women are, these are women I remember looking at their channels daily about three years ago when they said those same things, about four years ago when they said those same things. And then, um, or five, even five years ago, even five years ago, right? And then I look at them now and it's like it's the same talking points. And let me tell you something. I've said 
that these women are trying to approach this type of situation at an ego level. And so they keep trying to just tell other women to say, be careful, it's dangerous out here. These men are showing you who they are and all this stuff and stuff and stuff. And they keep, and it's like, you have to keep repeating yourself, why? Why do you have to keep repeating yourself? It's been five years and you're saying the same thing. You gotta ask yourself, why do you have to keep saying the same thing? You have to ask yourself that. And you might need to consider the fact that this is a group of people, the fact that you have to keep repeating yourself, that means that this is a group of people or a group of women who um, really lack a lot of self-worth and self-love. And so there are people with that kind of channel too. I'll give them that credit. So I would rather, for me, I would rather focus on people getting to the level of their, their real soul, not the, not the ego soul, but their real soul. I would rather work on people because what I'm noticing with these ladies, when you keep telling them, try, keep trying to warn them about these guys and keep trying to prove that these guys don't love them and keep trying to prove that these guys hate them, it's like, um, it's all for entertainment. It looks like it's just all for entertainment at this point because nothing is changing. How do you talk about something for about f over five years? For some people, it's been over five years and nothing has changed because these women are being reached only at an ego type of level. And to be honest with you, there are other channels of, of ladies that do go beyond the ego, but guess what? They channels hardly grow and you know what? Too bad. And that could be for me, but I don't have that kind of channel of a self-love channel. I really just mostly talk about my journey and most people just chime in if they have similar experiences. But I have seen other ladies with those kind of channels where they focus on going beyond the ego when they're talking to women, right? And those channels don't really grow like that. And you know what, that's too bad because that shows you where their mind is. So it don't do any good to keep telling these women about how these men are and how these men hate them and how these men are always bashing them and you're repeating the same things for five to 10 years or longer. And there's no growth, there's little growth but there's hardly no growth, especially when you see with the community, right? Uh, the, it's like the things just keep getting worse, <laughs> you know? And the women who do who have decided to not deal with that, they have completely just left anyway. Like they completely left the whole thing alone anyway. But but what I'm saying is you, one, one thing, the fact that I look at is the fact that people who really do have channels that go beyond the ego, getting more into self-love and loving who they, their real self is and going beyond the ego, those channels do not grow. It's not because, it's not because, it's not necessarily because something is wrong with them that they can't reach a crowd. It's because people aren't interested in helping themselves. People aren't interested in helping themselves. And so when I look at channels like that, they can't seem to grow. Then I wouldn't waste my time. That's just me. Because people get to do whatever they want to do with their channels now. But if, when, if I'm looking at channels that focus on things going beyond the ego and really their content is helping women to evolve, okay, that's like more centered around women and helping women to evolve and getting women more into self care to get them to evolve more spiritually, those channels do not get a lot of attention. They do not get a lot of traffic. And with that, and these people with these channels have been around for like ever since, the, ever since YouTube started, these channels have been around. So the fact that uh, those channels can't seem to grow and I listen to their comment and they have good content. I listen to their content and they have good content, good quality content. And these channels don't, don't seem to grow. It don't seem like they can even break 2,000 views and their channel's been around since 2006, 2007. And their channels can't hardly, they still can't break more than 2,000 views after being around for, uh, for so long. That lets me know that the reason why these women, you can't, that lets me know that trying to continue to tell these women about how men are is a waste of time. Because you see, 
they, you see where their attention is. Their attention is not on helping themselves. Their attention is not on evolving spiritually. Their attention is just not on doing, their attention is not on self-care. Their attention is not on that. Um, just by the fact that these channels do not grow and they give good quality content. Okay? And so I wouldn't even, for me, I wouldn't even rack my brain with that kind of content. But I do realize these ladies, they, they have a channel where they're making good money too. And I've, I have to say, unfortunately, some of these ladies, that's how they get their money when it comes to the content creator part. A lot of times that's how they get their money. That's how they get traffic. They bring uh, some people names in the titles of their videos and they might follow it by some good advice for women. But they put in their titles of videos, they put names of, of notorious people in their titles. Okay, people who are notorious for being uh, very nasty towards women. Okay, and I get it, they draw traffic like that. And that's how they get their coins, you know. Um, but, you see, that's the problem is that's what it takes to get women to pay attention. Okay. That's what it takes to get women, a lot of people's attention. And that lets you know right there, it's not doing any good to try to get them to see how me, these guys are because the fact that you have to put somebody's name, a, a notorious, a person who's notorious for tearing down women, you gotta put their name in your title to draw traffic. To draw traffic, then, uh, and I'm talking about compared to other videos that the same person has uploaded, right? And you notice that when you when they put certain people's names in their titles, those people are only attracted to that to that video because of that person that was put in the title. Okay? And so uh, that lets you know right there that they, they these women don't intend on helping themselves and these women don't intend on growing. Okay, that lets you know right there. Okay, because real people who are interested in helping themselves, number one, if they're interested in what you offer regarding self-care, they will be booking sessions. Uh, and they could be. Um, and you will just see that just in general, let me talk about this. I don't want to keep it just on the so-called black community, just in general. Excuse me, because I look at a lot of channels that talk about spiritual evolution, that talks about different things. And these are people who are genuinely, they're authentic. Just, just by and large, they channels don't get a lot of views. Just in general, even when I look at Caucasian people, just in general, their channels don't get a lot of views. They just don't. Now, when I hear people who call themselves want to be spiritual, but you can tell that they uh, are just in it for the money because you can tell they're mostly charismatic more than they are talking about spiritual evolution. They're really just charismatic. Sometimes those channels, there are certain channels that talk about spirituality that do get a lot of views. And that lets you know what kind of energy could be in that person because for the most part, most people are, 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 are more negative. More, most people are not interested in really helping themselves like that. So even with these so-called spiritual channels, when they get a lot of traffic like that, and then you find out these spiritual channels that get a lot of these traffic, hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of views in like two days, you find out five or six years later that that person was a scam artist. Okay, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, like the uh, the brother polites. Or, I don't want to just call out names, but even some females too. That lets you know that people are attracted to the Jim Jones personality. People are attracted to the Jim Jones personality. So basically, if you're an authentic person and you talk about spiritual evolution, or evolution period, Eva, you know, and you're genuine, it's almost like people pick up on the fact that you're genuine and they're not interested in you. Because the truth is stranger than fiction, right? The truth is stranger than fiction. And so, 
But you got somebody else that sound good and they sound like they saying the right things and talking about spiritual evolution. But they got that Jim Jones kind of mentality, that Jim Jones kind of charisma. They could sound like they saying the same thing as the authentic person is saying. And their channels get a lot of traffic. It's because their, their inauthenticity, in, inauthenticity and their fraudulent type of energy draws the crowd because people like Jim Jones. People like to be Jim jones -da. People like to be Jim jones -da. Okay? So anyway, that's it, and I'll talk later.